Hey guys, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm so excited today. We're gonna to be going to check out the Four Seasons Resort in Orlando, Florida. It's been on my bucket list for so long. So excited that I'm getting to finally come and check it out. If you've been wanting to see what this place is like, stick around. We're gonna be doing a full walking tour. If you're new to my channel, I do resort tours and reviews. I'm so, so psyched to be here and to take you along with me. If you have never seen this resort before on the road you're not alone it's tucked behind like a real residential neighborhood it's not like Gaylord Palms or Marriott World Center that everybody drives by this place is like really you know in a really remote area so you have to be looking for it to find it I GPS it and I went through a gate at, it was a security and I said I was going there for breakfast and they let me in um, by the time I got there, it was lunch, and I'm going to be going to lunch, so stick around if you want to see where I dined. As you can see, this place is absolutely gorgeous. There's so many wonderful areas to sit and hang out. The bathroom, I mean, this is the bathroom. I was like, whoa, it's so beautiful. Everything was beautiful, and it smelt amazing. Right now, I'm taking you um, into where the conventions are, and they have a ballroom. I'm sure there's tons of weddings here. It's a really stunning place. Have you been to Four Seasons before and stayed here? Let me know in the comments below about how your stay was. I wish I could have seen the rooms. And if you're looking for the rooms, this isn't the video. I wasn't staying here. Like I said, I was just visiting. Here's where you would check in. And then we're just gonna take a look, little walk around. I'm looking around to see like where there is to eat. And I found this little cafe here. It looked adorable. Look at these little seats. <laughs> looks so cute. Um, but I think this would be your like place that's open. I, I really don't know Hello. for sure. Like I, I wasn't staying there. But they had all kinds of pastries and all kinds of like to-go items. But I was looking for something more where I could like sit down and have someone I'm serve great. me. How are you? you know, I mean, if I'm in the Four Seasons, I want to be taken care of. <laughs> and that's exactly what this place is. There is the service here is fantastic from the valet, and I I want to know it's only valet. There is no self parking, so if you do come here, bring some change. You know, for tipping the um, valet people. This is the lobby bar, which wasn't open. Everything was meticulously clean and it was very spaced out. The lobby bar had indoor and outdoor seating, great for families and large groups or even if you're by yourself. And as we approach the balcony over here and overlook, you could see what an amazing view this property has. It's awesome. I ran into someone that told me that there's somewhere to dine outside by the pools and I'm really excited because I want to see the pools. So come take a walk with me. We're going to pass a couple gift shops and we're going to go outside this amazing big place <laughs> and we're going to go check out the pools and I'm going to show you the place to eat. If you're like visiting here during the day, a really cool place to go. Okay, we're approaching where we're gonna dine, but stick around because I'm gonna show you the pools after this and they are amazing. It's gonna be worth checking them out if you're thinking of coming here or staying here. Uh, this place is really, really awesome.
this lakeside restaurant is called PB&G. I didn't have any reservations or anything. I just went up to the desk and I said, hey, I'm here. Can I have a table? Should I sit at the bar? And they said, no, you could have a table. They weren't that busy. There were some people there, but it wasn't packed. I always feel bad going by myself, taking up a table, but they didn't seem to care. I had like a table for four and I had, you know, this nice little cozy corner thing. Here's the menu here. You know, it's a little pricey, but you know, you're paying a cover charge. You're eating on the lake at Four Seasons. It's awesome very cool so uh, I started with a fancy drink though it had a really um, extensive drink menu and they had wine and beer but I got a hibiscus cocktail <laughs> it was good it was fruity and very refreshing here it is right here the beer cheese and the mustard oh that looks good I had reservations for dinner so I got the pretzels with the beer cheese and it had like a, a maple mustard it was really really good I couldn't even finish it I was like all right I gotta save room for dinner and I ended up canceling dinner because I was still too full <laughs> September is a fabulous time to come to Orlando if you're a foodie they have something called the Orlando magical dining it's three courses for $37. Like you could get like a filet mignon and a dessert and an appetizer, you know, like if you're into seafood, they have amazing things. Well, I hope you're enjoying the pool tour while I'm talking about food. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just wanted to note that if you are someone that enjoys really good dining and you want to go to fabulous places, but you don't want to break the bank, September is a great time to go. But I canceled because I was like, there's no way I could do three courses. I am so full just leaving here eating pretzels. September, as you can see, also is a great time to travel if you don't like crowds. Because <laughs> as you can see, unless you come on Labor Day, that is a different story. This place will be full on Labor Day, here and everywhere. The idea is you don't want to travel on holidays or weekends this is like a wednesday afternoon at three o'clock you know they had cabanas there i don't know how much they cost um the one that i'm previewing right now did had a place for a tv but it did not have the tv so you know what they might be taking some of them out of commission because you know why keep a tv there you know and during rainstorms and stuff if people aren't renting them it's not a busy time of year so it's september it's a very good time to go though if you want to avoid crowds that's for sure. Stick around if you want to see more pools. Uh, right now, I'm going to be taking you into where the Children um, Activity Center is. Uh, one thing I thought really cool, as soon as I walked in, I was like, oh, ooh, spongy. it's scrunch spongy. scrunchy. I thought that's really, really cool. It's like, you know, if you have something like this for the kids, chances are someone's going to fall. At least, you know, when it's a nice, you know, bouncy thing, you know, the fall is going to be less dramatic. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're going to be looking at some activities for bigger kids and adults, too. I was pretty blown away by this this stone place i was just like wow this looks like rapunzel <laughs> rapunzel might have lived except look at there's doors now <laughs> she would have been able to get out of here <laughs> and if she did she would have had a blast yeah. i was really impressed because look at it i'm like wow look at there's water slides i thought i was done with the pools but no the pools keep going on Look what I found. Oh my God, this place is amazing. I really want to stay here. I think if I stayed here, I don't think I'd go to Disney World. Look at this. It's got its own lazy river. September is a fantastic time to come. As you can see, there's hardly anybody around. 
I mean, where I live in Connecticut, September is gorgeous, and sometimes I kick myself in the butt because it's like gorgeous weather. I really like the 70 degrees, crisp days, but you can't beat this. <laughs> like, there's no one here. Each pool is so unique and very beautiful. It would be hard to choose. <laughs> so I guess you'd have to go several days so you could experience them all. This one here is really cool. Had a really nice vibe. There's so many pools here. Wow. Those little huts. Oh my God. This must be a fire pit here. Wow. This place must be gorgeous at night. And my kids would love this when they were little. That's so cool. Now we're approaching, yep, another pool. <laughs> this one is uh, the first pool that I saw that I didn't go in. It's an uh, adult only pool. And here is Ravello. Look at this. Wow. I have been hearing about Ravello for years. They supposedly have like this an insanely awesome character meal in the, it, for breakfast. It's like a buffet and it's the Mickey gang. It's uh, Mickey and Pluto and those kind of characters, not a princess meal, but supposedly it's awesome. They do breakfast and they do dinner. You could even come for dinner. This down here seemed like it was more like private dining uh, in these areas. I couldn't get into the restaurant. They were setting up for dinner and I didn't feel ballsy enough to just walk in on them. <laughs> I try to keep my videos as informative as I can for the people from you know that are watching on YouTube without being intrusive to the people that are actually there working. You know, it, it's a fine line, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I want to go and interview people, but then I'm like, they're working. They don't really want to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this video with some of the fitness center. They have an aerobics room. This place, like I said, it's amazing. If you get a chance to come check it out, do it. If you get a chance to stay here, even better. Look at, they even have umbrellas in case it's raining. It's just fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> if you like this, please subscribe. That would rock. Thank you so much. Safe travels to you.